In this video, we're going to be looking at placing lines into Plan 3D, the data that's inside of them, and how to tailor the line number to your standards. Sorry for the harsh lighting today, but uh, we just moved and I haven't got everything set up, but I really wanted to start trying to get more videos out. So uh, cross your fingers and we'll get this done. Uh, inside the PNID portion of uh, Plan 3D, the one of the most basic functions is placing the line. And so we're gonna look at how to place the line, what's the data that's inside the line, and how we're going to make that change uh, to work with your standards. So inside of Plan 3D on the PNID portion, uh, you've got your tool palette up here, and you've got uh, you know your lines, your equipment, valves, and so on and so forth. Uh, you can go over to lines, and you've got the primary line. Uh, you got the secondary line and so on and so forth. You got some instrument lines, you know, electrical signal, uh, pneumatic signal, and that uh, those types of lines. But today we're just going to focus on the primary line. So we're going to go from this pump to this heat exchanger. So we're going to click on our line, and then we're going to uh, click on the nozzle of the pump. And you can see that it has a little node symbol on there. I have my um, uh, you know, object snap set to node, so it'll pick that node up of that uh, nozzle. So we're going to click on that, and we're going to come up, and we're going to uh, go to this uh, uh, nozzle on the heat exchanger. Now you can see that my uh, snaps are on my not my object snaps, but my drawing snaps. And when I work on the PNIDs, and this is a big pet peeve of mine when people don't do this is they do not have their snaps on. I always have my snaps on. I want all my lines, all my equipment to be put on those snaps. Also, all the equipment needs to be drawn on snaps. Now my snaps are usually set, depending on the drawing size, at a 16 inch snap or an 8 inch snap. Uh, my default is always 16 because, you know, if, it, if you want to go less, then you can. But uh, anyway, it's a pet peeve. I'll get off my soapbox. Uh, so we're going to collect. You can see that it's saying, hey, you're in line with that uh, nozzle. The, um, you know, the node symbol is showing up on that nozzle. And so we're going to click right there, come over, and we're going to click on that one. Okay, so we have our first line placed. So if you click on the line and go over to your, your properties box here, and we're going to you know, make this a little bit bigger so we can see everything. Uh, you can see that the, the line tag is blank uh, because it didn't ask me to, uh, you know, fill out the tag information. Uh, so I hadn't done that yet. Uh, you can see that the graphical styles, primary style, uh, description, line segment, you can change this if you want to. You can actually say, hey, this is, you know, whatever service this is. Um, Manufacturer, I really doubt that you're going to tag your lines as a manufacturer type. Model number, it's pipe, you know. Uh, supplier comments, you know, if you want to put a comment here, you can. Status, new, or you can choose uh, demolition or existing. Um, size, spec, tracing, insulation. But you see that it says to and from. So it knows that we went from, uh, you know, from the um, pump to the exchanger. Uh, and then you also have some other information in here. Now let's actually give it a line number here. So we're going to click on the line. And there's a couple ways you can do this. You can right click on it and say assign tag. Or you can come over here to your properties box and click on this uh, item right here for your tag and you're going to hit that and it's going to bring up this either option will bring you to the same point it just depends on if you have your uh, properties box up or not or if you just like to right click on the pipe and do it so uh, so we're going to give it a size uh, the sizes are already been defined 
uh, from a list, and we'll get into that later when we get into more of the details of the back end. So we're going to say this is a four inch line, and we're going to say this is a, a spec of a CS150. Again, this is a list that you can uh, modify later on, and again, I'll show you how to do that. So if you go uh, to your spec and then your service, you can choose any service. Uh, with any of these list box, you don't have to use what's in here. You can always just manually type it. So PS, we're going to say process service, you know. Uh, and then the line number, you know, we're going to say, you know, this is 1001, okay. Um, and then if you click right here, place annotation after assigning tag. Uh, it will ask you which tag do you want, the pipeline tag, the tag, the oval tag style. Uh, we're going to go with the pipeline tag, and we're going to hit assign. And now you see it's coming from the center of the pipe, and it's asking you where do you want to place it. Um, again, I'm using 16th inch snaps. I go 1 8th above the line to place my, my uh, text. And so that way it just looks nice and uniform. Um, now the cool thing about this tag right here is if we come over here and we decide, oh, hey, uh, we want to change that. We can come over here and say, oh, okay, we want to change it to a three inch line. And now you got a three inch line. Um, now you don't have to get into this category right here. If you click on the line, you can see some pop uh, properties have been populated. So you got your size now, you got your spec. Uh, so you can come over here and go, uh, we're gonna go back to a four inch and it changed the tag also. Now, okay, let's say this line tag here uh, is not exactly how you want it. How do you change that? So if you come over to your project manager and click on and you go project setup, we're going to go into the back side of the software. This is where all the magic happens and you can customize your, your whole PNID and actually the plan 3d side of it. This is where you do all those changes. So you've got a couple different options here. You got your general settings, uh, you know, you know, SQL server database, you know, drawing properties. You can have, custom properties in there and so on and so forth we'll get into much deeper depth in this much later uh, so if we go down to pnid clash de definitions uh, engineering items we're going to go to lines okay and then you've got pipeline segments and you've got signal line segments so this is your your instrumentation lines this is your process piping lines uh, you can see all the data that's inside each one of these uh, fields. So right now we're in uh, lines. Uh, we've got manufacturer, model number, and all that. If you go into pipeline segments, uh, you get a little bit more, uh, more things to choose from. Now you can assign specific properties to this one. And then all these other uh, fields will inherit that. Um, or you can go into each individual line segment and make that change there. So under pipeline segments, we have a pipeline tag. And so that's the, the tag that we've been populating on top of our line as we create it. If you go to modify, you can see that there's four categories. You got size, spec, service, and pipeline. Now, <clears throat> the targets... Okay, the target object there, that is specific to that segment. Um, and then the pipeline group, that is another subcategory, which we'll get into much later on how, you know, what data that you're pulling from. Uh, but let's say we wanted to add insulation on this. So we're going to go here and we're going to hit, uh, instead of four, we're going to hit five. And now it adds another row to the bottom. Bad thing about Plan 3D is you cannot like manually grab this, move it around. Uh, you've got to do it in order. So let's say you wanted your line tag, line number to be at the bottom. 
well, you'll have to come in here and add it here and then change something there. So I wish they would fix that, but they haven't over the years, so I don't think they're going to. Um, so we're going to say right here, we're going to click on class properties and we're going to find our insulation type. Okay. So insulation type, I'm going to hit OK, and then we're going to hit OK. OK, so that's a, the insulation type is this one right here. You can see that it has a, a list of insulations that you can use. Uh, again, I'll show you later on how to modify this. Uh, so you click on that, and then we're going to hit OK. So to make this change, we got to click into the line. So we're going to come over here, go to our tag, click right there. We're going to say this is for personal protection, and we're going to hit assign. Okay. The reason that line keeps coming down is because we told it to apply the tag every time, and we've already got a tag, so there's no reason to, to, to add it. So I just keep hitting escape. So now you can see that it is 4 inch, 150, PS, 1001, and PP. So that's a little look on the inside of the PNID portion of Plant 3D. Again, there's a lot to uncover inside of Plant 3D, and we'll go in and start diving into it. Uh, please, if there's anything you would like to know uh, or see or have questions, I know I've been kind of lagging on my question answering. Uh, but I've just been really, really busy. Uh, as you can tell, we've just moved. And so I've uh, just been working on that. And so if you have any questions, please put comments down below. I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. And uh, until next time.